What's going on, Lesby fam? Uh, today we are gonna answer uh, some questions, particularly one question that uh, Betsy and I have talked about numerous times and we want to go ahead and answer it on a vlog for you guys. Um, so the question is, am I gay? Yes, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Another question that I've gotten recently, and that is uh, kind of a touchy subject for me. Um, so before, or so let me take it back. Pre-successful IUI, I dealt with a lot of questions about, you know, how am I going to feel having a child that, or... At that time, I didn't know we were gonna have twins, so I do say child, but how was I gonna feel having a child that wasn't my blood? And a big part of our, oh, excuse me, babe. Hold on. For me, honestly, becoming a parent has been one of the best blessings in my life. I am 100% a mother, and there's no doubt in my mind about it. Like I said before, I did have my inner problems personally. And, they, and you know, speaking, talking about this now, now, Betsy didn't even know about that. Yeah, I didn't know about you that know? until not right now. And they were just personal things that I don't, I don't think I wanted to tell her because she was pregnant with twins, you know. I, the least I wanted to do was stress her out. Um, but that passed, you know, that passed. You're going to have a lot of questions throughout the whole process, but... Trust me, when you become a parent, there's just no better love. I, I mean, it's just a great feeling. Um, so this is from at jk.goni. So pretty much they're asking all the lady boys of Lesby Fam questions surrounding the birth certificate and how that process went. Um, and if we had to adopt our child, or I did not have to adopt our boys. So it was crazy in the delivery room. The nurses brought a birth certificate over to Betts. And it was weird because there was no parent one, parent two option. There was strictly a mom and dad. Betsy and I were in the delivery room. And what happened, Beth? <laughs> if you guys could see her face right now she gets so mad at me it's like i don't I've, get your shit together that was such a blur looking back at the delivery room it's crazy there was nurses everywhere we had two little things in a little tube and it was just crazy and to be honest with you it was a little bit of a blur because we were on full parent mode when the par when the kids were born, we had double everything. We had a change. We learned how to change diapers in there, and we were getting, you know, parent 101 from the nurses. But anyways, I remember Betsy crossing out all the labels that said dad on the birth certificate. Father. Yeah, that said father. Uh, there was no option for two moms. There was no option for parent one or parent two, which was strange because it was only three years ago. So I thought, you know, we would be a little bit more advanced uh, than what we are or than what we were. You know, three years ago is not that, that far back. Uh, from talking to the LBM moms, uh, lady boy moms on the other side, I believe it has been enhanced now. And Right, babe? Yes. There is... Um, better options. I think it's probably parent guardian one, parent guardian two. 
I'm not sure, but on our birth certificate, Bets did cross out the father part, and she would write mom or mother. I put mom too. Yeah, mom too. And uh, so that was a little strange, and you know, it, it threw me for a loop because honestly, I thought I thought we were in a different age, and they made me feel like so 15 years ago, you know, but we just kept it moving, you know, at the end of the day, I'm on the birth certificate, that's all that matters, really, and, um, what else do I want to talk about, baby? <laughs> God. If you guys don't know about Betsy's killer eye, she has, like, the stare of death, and so when I mess up, oh, <laughs> <laughs> when I do something like <laughs> vlogging and doing all this stuff, you know, I love to share my life experiences with you guys because I I feel extremely empowered and humbled by a lot of the people that come up to us on the daily and thank us for everything we do. But I'm not used to it. I'm not used to being on camera all the time and talking. You know, I'd rather just talk to you in person. So anyways, when I mess up on the LBM vlogs, I get this stare of death. Stare of death. You better do it. I can't do it. You're not pissing me off. I'm seeing another woman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that question um, on IG. Hopefully that answers you guys. Um, I think if you're planning to have kids now or are, are pregnant now, you're gonna have a little bit easier time on the birth certificate than I did, but that's okay. Everything's gonna be evolving in the next 10 years, five, 10 years, so everyone's experience will be different. As long as you know that you're the parent and legally you're the parent, that's all that really matters, you know? So that's my story. Um, if you guys wanna know how the other LBM ladyboys feel, go ahead and comment below. Throw them some questions, I'm sure they'll answer. Uh, for me, honestly, becoming a parent has been one of the best blessings in my life. I am 100% a mother, and there's no doubt in my mind about it. Something like that. All right, you guys. So we hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you. Uh, make sure you keep watching. If you're, if, you're new, if you're a new subscriber and haven't seen uh, some of the shows, go back rewind and uh, start watching some of the old ones so you could catch up on some of our you know initial struggles all of our all of our opinions the other families and always make sure to like comment and tell a friend to subscribe thank you for watching remember where was that what else do i say Do you remember what other stuff I struggled with? Sorry, you guys. She you know is behind. <laughs> this is the man behind the lens. <laughs> the real life of the real life of LBMs.